بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم. I would like to welcome all the faculty members at Northern Border University to another tutorial where we will discuss about do's and don'ts while creating your virtual class session for your students. So let us log into your Blackboard account and to do that if you are an English speaker you all know you need to change your language to English and log in with your credentials. If you have a national ID, if you are an if you have a national ID or you have an Iqam ID, then the username will be your national ID or Iqam ID without your first digit. So I log in with my credentials, and you must log in with your credentials without the first digit of your IDs. Go to the course tab, select the course where you would like to create a session for your students, which will be a virtual class session. Scroll down the screen, go to course tools and go to blackboard collaborate ultra in this tutorial you have two things one is the course room which is always available for you as well as for the students if you share the link with them but do not go to course room we always recommend all the faculty members uh, that you create a new session because if you create a new session you will have more benefits of generating reports on it so I'll come here and create a new session as if I'm a faculty. I'll write down my session name. For example, my session name is Lecture 5 Do's and Don'ts in Virtual Class. So this is my lecture name um, or this is my topic name where I'm going to create a session for. Remember, once you write down the session name, scroll down. If you see there is a checkbox called no and no end, that is open session. Never ever do this, never ever select this session. If you select this session, then if you select this checkbox, this means your session will never end. Always your session remain open and maybe tomorrow the student can come here join your session and see there is no one inside the lecture room and he will feel that he has come to a wrong place and he will miss the lecture again so please don't do this this is the first thing that you are not supposed to select this checkbox the second checkbox is if you go to session settings the ses ses settings gets expanded and if you scroll down you have allow the checkboxes by default checked which says draw on whiteboard and files okay let me explain you what is this about this is about participant scam what do you mean by participant who is your participant your student is your participant so what your student are able to do inside your course inside this virtual class they are able to share their audio they are able to share their video they are able to share post chat they are able to share send messages to you they are able to draw on your whiteboards and they are able to type on your files so basically we say that the faculty members in the, our university if you don't want to allow the students to write on your whiteboard maybe you draw something or type something then all of a sudden student comes and he erases your information it's going to be a mess so we recommend uncheck this box as well as un uncheck the box of share video unless and until you are sure that you want to see the student okay this part is required if you want to take this attendance of the student you can ask the student please share your video so that i can mark your attendance but in most of the cases we don't check this box share audio again uh, the student can ask the question by sending a message in the chat box but still if you prepare if you allow him to share his audio and he can ask you a question then you can go with it and then these are the settings basic things you need to remember and in the future if you want if you want your recording to be downloadable so that you can upload this recording somewhere on YouTube or you have your Dean Shepherd department YouTube channel you want to put all your recordings over there you can select this checkbox so this, this is the basic things you have to remember while creating a virtual class session okay and now once you do this once you make all the settings click on save the session gets available 
so you open the session and then join the session by clicking on join session a new new tab opens up where you will be joining the session as a faculty member and if you remember your role will be as a faculty in this virtual class session it will it will ask you that if you want to allow your microphone you simply say allow if it asks you and say yes it's working allow camera no I would like to block my camera I don't want to allow my camera and I could say yes it's working so once it gets all the settings in place for the first time it will ask you that do you want to go with the tutorial because you are new to this blackboard collaborate I'll say okay I'll do it for later purpose I'll keep it for later purpose and uh, close this all the first thing you need to remember once you go to your uh, virtual class you need to uncheck this audio icon this means by default it will be blocked if you uncheck it you will be able to share your voice with the student depending on the uh, the system performance or the internet speed your uh, audio might take a bit of difference till it reach all your students a very minute difference it will not be a big difference however if you would like to share your camera and you have a camera connected with your laptop or computer you can activate this or unblock this the second part is before going ahead and starting your session we prefer you to go to this menu click on start recording and all your session gets recorded and please do remember once again please do remember you need to stop your recording once you finish the lecture for example for me suppose I have finished my lecture now I come back to this place and stop the recording go back to the bottom right side of your screen you have a purple icon and this purple icon you have uh, a chat box where you will be able to chat with all your students and this icon will show you how many students are attending the lecture this is the place where you will share your screen here we have observed a lot of faculty members come here and share the blank uh, share files but what we recommend to you is rather than you share the files here you can share the files inside your blackboard content area right this is the place where you will share all your files so what what, what is the what, what is the reason that you come here and share your files and also if you need to explain them something open your file from here anything and explain them because you are sharing your entire screen and if you need to send your files to the students then go back to the content area upload your file and they will be able to see and download it from the content side so basically we recommend that you stick to this part only which is called share application screen again share application screen will be you have to share the entire screen you have two or three choices share your entire screen or and also there is a difference between browser to browser that the difference is for this Chrome you will get this message for Firefox you will have a drop down menu change the drop down menu to until you see the last choice which says share entire screen and select this box share audio as well okay in this way remember if you don't select this you might end up with some issues with your audio system inside your black uh, inside your laptop or with your laptop so this is how you are going to remember some do's and don'ts while creating your blackboard collaborate session it's a small session and uh, inshallah in the next tutorial we'll come up with more new things and i wish you understood everything you have a great day assalamu alaikum